The Tornishta has said the election is rapidly developing into a straight fight between a government and its alternatives. Speaking at the launch of the Labour Party's manifesto, Mr Spring said the people will look long and hard at the track record of the two alternatives. He said they'll want to choose a government for the future, but will also want proof that the government they pick will deliver on its promises. Labour chose Dublin's north side to launch its manifesto called Making the Vital Difference. For Dick Spring, the party's record in government is one of solid achievement. And today he asked the electorate to allow the party continue what he called its programme of change and progress. Policies are for the future, the track record of the last four years, visions and challenges combined with practical policies, a slate of candidates that's second to none, deep roots in our community and a total commitment to its future. That is what we are offering today in our manifesto as Labour's promise. In the area of taxation, the party's promise is to cut the total tax take, including PRSI and levies, to 22% of income for single people and 14% of income for married people on the average industrial wage. The PRSI exemption level of £80 is to be raised. The age allowance for those over 65 will at least be doubled within the lifetime of the next government. The standard rate of company tax will be reduced and there will be no more tax amnesties. As part of their social guarantee, the party aims to ensure that 100% of young people complete second level education. When they do, their options should include third level, conventional paid employment, self-employment, doing combined training and work, or working for pay in the community. For the disabled, they guarantee a range of services including counselling, education and training, open or sheltered employment, residential care when needed, respite care and accessible public transport. A Minister for State for older people will be appointed. And on crime, the party proposes increased prison places and the establishment of an independent prison agency, an independent inspector of prisons, a commission on policing to help forge a modern role for the police force, and the party says it will tackle the drugs crisis through policies which will be aimed at reducing supplies and reducing demand and establishing proper treatment facilities. I would be confident that uh, that document, that manifesto, offers the basis for a better society, for an inclusive society, and a society that is conscious of addressing the problems of the less well-off in our society. And I think that's very important for us. You're still lagging behind in the opinion polls. How do you feel the final result will go? Uh, well, I've been out canvassing, as you know, for a number of days, and I believe it's still going to be very tight, but I do believe there's a recognition factor for the work the government has done and for the fact that we are a coordinated team. Asked about the state's handling of the McCole case, Dick Spring had this to say. One thing which should not have been done, as far as I'm concerned, is that the McCall family should not have been threatened in the manner they were threatened by the solicitors for the BTSB. That should not have been done. We were not aware of it. And on abortion, he said there will have to be legislation and the parliamentary party will have it on its agenda after the election.